Astronomers in Hawaii have captured the first close-up image with scientists not knowing where it came from. Now, eventually, they figured out this object, now named 3i Atlas, was an interstellar visitor. The data stream came in clean from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. On screens at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the image of 3i Atlas resolved into focus. But then a secondary scan, a deep penetrating radar wave, hit the object and the room fell silent. It wasn't a solid rock. What appeared on the monitors was something no one was prepared for. Distinct geometric structures and objects moving with purpose deep inside. Well, these are really rare so far. Um, it's only the third one ever. There's, you know, a million and a half known asteroids, and there's about 30, 35,000 near-Earth objects. The experts who had dedicated their lives to finding rocks in space suddenly faced a reality that had them turning pale, questioning everything. When a rock isn't a rock. The story of 3i Atlas began not with a bang, but with a faint flicker of light spotted by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, in Hawaii. You see, astronomers are constantly scanning the skies looking for rocks that might pose a threat to Earth. But this was different. Right away, the math didn't add up. Its trajectory was all wrong. It was moving too fast at an incredible 134,000 miles per hour, so fast that it wasn't captured by our sun's gravity. This wasn't one of our solar system's own. This was a tourist, a visitor from interstellar space, only the third one ever detected. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, a bizarre cigar-shaped object that baffled scientists. The second was Borisov in 2019, which looked more like a typical comet but 3i Atlas. To put it mildly, it was in a league of its own. The most shocking fact is, the more they looked, the weirder it got. Initial observations revealed it was enormous, estimated to be about three miles wide. For comparison, the island of Manhattan is only about two miles across at its widest point. This was a city-sized behemoth tumbling through our cosmic backyard. Then came the chemical analysis. Telescopes picked up the signature of its tail, a faint cloud of gas and dust. But the composition was bizarre. It was shedding far more nickel than iron, a ratio never before seen in any comet or asteroid from our solar system. The thing nobody tells you is that this kind of chemical signature is incredibly hard to explain with natural geology. It was a huge red flag, a puzzle that had astronomers scratching their heads. What many overlooked at first was its trajectory. It was moving almost perfectly along the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where all our planets orbit the sun. The chances of an interstellar visitor from a random direction lining up so neatly are astronomically small. It was like a bowler rolling a ball from another building and having it land perfectly in the center of the lane. Many people are crazy about space exploration, but this event brought a new level of urgency. As luck would have it, the object's path was set to take it on a close flyby of Mars on October 3rd. This was an unprecedented opportunity. A whole fleet of human technology was already there. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter with its powerful high-rise camera, the European Space Agency's orbiters, and rovers on the ground. For the first time, we had a front row seat to an interstellar mystery. The plan was simple. As 3i Atlas zipped past the red planet, use every instrument available to get our best look yet. One of the key tools was a deep penetrating radar scanner, a device designed to map the geology beneath the Martian surface. The decision was made to turn it away from Mars and point it at 3i Atlas to find out once and for all what was under the hood. No one could have predicted what they were about to find. The days leading up to the flyby were filled with tense excitement. Experts around the globe were speculating. Was it a chunk of a planet with a nickel-rich core that got destroyed? Was it some kind of exotic, icy body from a star system completely different from our own? The theories were wild, but not all things are what they seem. The reality was about to become far stranger than any fiction. The world held its breath, waiting for the first high-resolution images. But the real story wasn't going to be in the pictures. It was going to be in the waves of data that could see into its very heart. The countdown began for a discovery that would change humanity's understanding of the universe forever. Echoes from 1977 
While the world waited for the Mars flyby, a prominent Harvard professor, Avi Loeb, was busy connecting the dots on a 48-year-old mystery. You see, the peculiar trajectory of 3i Atlas wasn't just strange, it seemed eerily familiar. On a quiet Sunday evening, he decided to cross-reference the object's path with one of the most famous unsolved puzzles in the history of astronomy, the WOW signal. Back in 1977, a radio telescope in Ohio known as the Big Ear picked up an incredibly strong narrowband radio signal lasting for 72 seconds. It was so powerful and so unique that the astronomer on duty, Jerry Amon, circled the data printout and wrote WOW in the margin. The signal never appeared again and its origin remains a complete mystery. It's the holy grail for those searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. And you can see this everywhere in pop culture, a symbol of our cosmic loneliness and hope. What Professor Loeb uncovered was nothing short of mind-blowing. When he plotted the origin point of 3i Atlas on the star map, it lined up almost perfectly with the origin of the WOW signal. The alignment was so precise that the probability of it being a random coincidence was just 0.6%. To put that in perspective, you have a better chance of being dealt a royal flush in poker. The thing nobody tells you is that this wasn't just a vague connection, it was a statistical bombshell. Suddenly, the strange object heading for Mars had a history. A ghost from 1977 was seemingly flying right into our cameras. The implication was staggering. Could this object have been the source of that mysterious signal nearly five decades ago? This new information sent ripples through the scientific community. The most shocking fact is what the numbers suggested next. If 3i Atlas was the source, where was it back in 1977 when the signal was sent? Calculations showed it was about 600 times farther away from us than the Earth is from the Sun, a distance that takes light three full days to cross. To broadcast a signal that powerful from so far away would require an immense amount of energy, roughly a gigawatt, which is the output of a full-scale nuclear power plant here on Earth. The idea was almost unthinkable. A natural rock couldn't generate a focused radio beam, let alone with the power of a nuclear reactor. This discovery cranked the speculation up to a whole new level. What many overlooked was that a three-mile-wide object would have more than enough space to house such a power source. The connection to the WOW signal changed the entire context of the Mars flyby. It was no longer just about studying a weird rock. It was now about investigating a potential 48-year-old message and its sender. The question on every expert's mind was no longer what is it made of, but was it made? The pressure was on. The deep scanner aimed at 3i Atlas wasn't just looking for ice and minerals anymore. It was looking for a reactor. It was looking for technology. But not all things are what they seem. As the object approached Mars for its close-up, the team at NASA prepared for a scan that could either solve the greatest mystery of our time or deepen it beyond comprehension. They had no idea it was about to do the latter. The universe was about to whisper a secret, and it wasn't what anyone was expecting. What Lies Beneath The control room at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory was a sea of calm professionalism, but beneath the surface, the tension was electric. For weeks, they had tracked 3i Atlas, a silent traveler from another star. The connection to the WOW signal had transformed this from a routine observation into a historic event. Every scientist in that room knew they were on the verge of something monumental. As 3i Atlas passed within range of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the command was sent. The high-resolution cameras began snapping pictures, but all eyes were on the data feed from the deep-penetrating radar. This was the moment of truth. The scanner, designed to peer miles beneath planetary crusts, fired a pulse of energy at the interstellar object. The first few seconds were normal. The initial return signal showed a dense, rocky exterior consistent with an asteroid. A collective sigh of mild disappointment began to ripple through the room. Maybe it was just a strange rock after all. But then the secondary data began to resolve on the main screen. This was the information from the radar waves that had penetrated deeper into the object's core. And that's when everything stopped. The quiet chatter died instantly. A scientist in the front row took off his glasses and leaned so far forward he nearly touched the monitor. On the screen, where there should have been a messy, chaotic jumble of rock densities, there was structure. You see, the data was showing things that simply shouldn't be there. 
There were voids, empty spaces deep inside the object, and they weren't random bubbles. They were arranged in a repeating geometric pattern. The most shocking fact was the presence of perfectly straight lines and right angles, features that nature almost never produces on such a massive scale. It looked less like the inside of an asteroid and more like a cutaway diagram of a battleship. What many overlooked in the initial wave of shock was the thermal imaging overlay. There were heat signatures coming from within those voids far warmer than the frozen exterior, and they were moving. This was the moment the experts turned white. It wasn't one object moving, it was dozens. The heat signatures were shifting positions relative to each other, following coordinated, non-random paths within the internal structure. They moved like cars on a city grid, turning corners, pausing, and proceeding. It was undeniable, unmistakable, and utterly impossible. This wasn't geology, this was machinery, or something else. The room was frozen in a state of collective, silent awe. Someone finally broke the silence with a whispered, My God. They had peered inside a visitor from another star and found it was inhabited not by life as we might imagine it, but by objects moving with intelligent purpose. The official mission logs would later describe it as anomalous internal signatures. But for those in the room, it was the discovery of a lifetime, a terrifying, exhilarating confirmation that we are not alone. The mystery of Three-Eye Atlas had just deepened exponentially. They now knew something was inside. But what was it? And what did it want? Facing the Unknown The aftermath of the scan was a whirlwind of controlled chaos. The data was immediately classified at the highest levels. The thing nobody tells you is that a discovery of this magnitude doesn't just get announced in a press conference. It triggers a global crisis of understanding. For the people watching this unfold, a thousand questions bubble to the surface. If this happens, is it really true? Are we missing a key detail? How does the world change overnight? The thing is, for the experts who saw that data, the world had already changed. They were now guardians of the most profound secret in human history. An interstellar object passing through our solar system was not a natural body, but a vessel of some kind containing moving technological components. Theories began to fly in hushed conversations behind closed doors. You see, when faced with the impossible, the human mind races to find an explanation. Any explanation. Was it a probe sent by an alien civilization, a robotic scout sent to observe our system? The organized movement inside suggested a high level of automation and purpose. Or was it something more complex? Some speculated it could be a generation ship a cosmic art carrying the last remnants of a civilization with the moving objects being maintenance drones or automated systems keeping the ship functional on a journey lasting millions of years. Another more sobering theory was that it was a derelict, a ghost ship, damaged and adrift, its internal system still running on ancient programming. To put it mildly, every single theory was more mind-bending than the last. The most shocking fact is that simple explanations were quickly ruled out. Could the internal structures be a bizarre but natural crystal formation? No, the sharp angles and repeating patterns were too precise, too manufactured. Could the moving heat signatures be pockets of trapped gas or liquid sloshing around? No, their movements were too coordinated and independent of the object's rotation. Every attempt to explain it away with known science failed. The data pointed to only one uncomfortable conclusion, intelligence. Not necessarily a living, breathing crew, but an intelligence that had designed and built this incredible object. This is the kind of discovery that rewrites textbooks and redefines a species. It forces us to confront our place in the universe in a way we never have before. The people watching this story are looking for a mystery and the possibilities here are endless. The thing is, this wasn't a movie. For the scientists and officials involved, this was a new, terrifying reality. The visitor, 3 Eye Atlas, was already on its way out of our solar system, heading back into the void of deep space. We had gotten one brief, impossible glimpse inside. We now knew there are others out there, or at least their technology is. The silent traveler is now gone, leaving us with a secret that changes everything. Were we just visited by a machine, a tomb, or a messenger? Like and subscribe for more Cosmic Mysteries.